All right, we're going to solve. This is actually a rational equation. Uh, we're going to go ahead and solve it with, uh, solve it, and it, it's going to have a restriction at the end, and I'll show you what that means when we get there. So for right now, um, anytime you have a, a fractional equation, you know, you, you, in order to add, add uh, things together, you got to have a common denominator. Well, in our case, we've got 1 plus x over x minus 5 equals 5 over x minus 5. Well, x minus 5 is the denominator of this equation. And so the 1, in order to really be part of this equation so we can do some math with it, we've got to get a common denominator there. So, um, 1, first off, can be written, um, it can be written as... Uh, uh, 1 divided by 1, excuse me. So we've really got 1 over 1 here. Okay. And so to make this a common denominator, we just simply multiply that by a fancy, another fancy 1. <laughs> we multiply by x, o, x minus 5 divided by x minus 5. Well, x minus 5 divided by x minus 5 is really 1. And so we haven't done a whole lot to the equation. We haven't done anything to the equation because 1 times anything is that number. So now we've got the equation x minus 5 over x minus 5 plus x over x minus 5 equals 5 over x minus 5. And I want to eliminate the x minus the denominator. So what, you, what this allows us to do then is multiply the whole equation by the denominator. And so I'll show all my work. So x minus 5, and then you have um, x minus 5 over x minus 5. So that's the, that's the first chunk right there. Plus, now we'll keep distributing. We've got x minus 5 times x over x minus 5 equals, and we'll keep on distributing, x minus 5 times 5 over x minus 5. And what you notice, and I'll stick these in parentheses, is that x minus 5 over x minus 5 is 1. So x minus 5 divided by x minus 5, that's gone. That's gone. That's 1. And that's 1. So really, these become 1. And so let me extend the page a little bit. So we've really got 1 times x minus 5 plus x equals 5 times 1 and times 1, which, again, time, times 1, that's x minus 5 plus x equals 5, okay? Now, you combine your t like terms. There's nothing to distribute here. So you go ahead and combine your like terms, and you'd have 2x minus 5 equals 5. Keep on solving. Add 5 to the other side, to both sides of the equation. And so 2x equals 10, and there's 5s all over the place. That's what we get for an answer. And we should check to see if that's correct. So we take that 5, and we go back to our original problem. And uh, let me kind of get rid of the, I kind of trashed our original problem there with that x minus 5. So it was a 1. Let me put it back in black, back in black. And so let's plug in 5 and see what happens. Okay, so we have 1 plus 5 over x minus 5. Oh, not x minus 5. 5 minus 5 equals 5 over 5 minus 5. I'm just substituting. I substituted here, here, and here. We'll take a look what happens. We've got 1 plus 5 over 0 equals 5 over 0. Okay, this is undefined. So our answer doesn't, it creates an undefined situation, an impossible situation in this case, an undefined situation in the equation, so there is no answer for this. So this answer doesn't work. It's restricted because of the, the domain error. And so 
we really have the empty set as our answer, which is no solution. Okay, so that's, <laughs> there's a problem for you. Hopefully this helps you. Um, good luck with it, and uh, see you next time.